Sidak Hartley welcomes founder candidates who are, who are planning to register for the bridge course for IoT software analyst. So here I am giving you the demonstration video of how to do the registration. Uh, initially, you need to go for to the future skill prime dot in website. So I will show you from the starting. So you click, you type future skill prime dot in and go to the page. Here, sign up option is there. I already signed up to the Google account. I'm giving my date of birth. And then gender. So once you click on the pin code. So you can get the district, state, and country automatically filled in. So again, I'm giving my mobile number. We can verify here. A four-digit OTP will be sent to your mobile number. So this code will be valid. OTP will be valid only for five minutes. So I get it from my mobile. So you can see here your mobile number has been successfully verified. So then click on next. And you can see here current occupation. So there will be three options here. Working professional is there, unemployed is there, student is there. I am clicking student. And then you can see here education details. So postgraduate will be there, uh, undergraduate will be there, and doctorate will be there, and others will be there. I'm clicking here, undergraduate. And here you can see, please select if you have been offered employment, but you have to take, take up a job, or else if you are undergoing or selected for internship or apprenticeship rules in IT or IT enabled services, if you are applicable, you can click on the box. And I'm just clicking here. If you are not applicable, you can ignore this. If you are applicable, please click on this box and then go to next. So in this page, you can see learning interest. So here you can see so many things are there and I am clicking here, internet of things. So our course is bridge course, IoT software analyst for IoT software analyst. So I am clicking here, IoT. And then you click on finish. Okay. So now you can see in this page, who my learning groups register about Prime. So you just go with the, you, you ensure that you are in the page home in that, there will be so many things will be there recommended for you. Emerging technologies, uh, professional skills are there, and government incentive eligible programs are there. Don't confuse with it. So you have to go to directly to the emerging technologies. So emerging technologies, why in that? There are so many technologies are there. And now we are doing the course for IoT. So it is the Internet of Things. You click here, Internet of Things. So you need to go to emerging technologies and then click internet of things so now you can see i entered into the internet of things so then then you can see so many things are there here so many things are there like all content posts are there and pathway and journeys are there foundation course are there so what we need to click here means here okay, bridge course we are doing the bridge course for iot software analyst so 
rich course for iot software analyst it is mentioned here clearly it has also mentioned as cdac bank loan so you can for easy identification i'm saying so cdac bank loan it's here rich course for iot software analyst job role also is here Let's click on here so we finally reached the page so in that you can see here rich course for our software analyst by cdac bangalore and the ssc nascam assessment is there and the co data purchase you will get 90 days from the show everything has been mentioned here you will have to do the 120 days to complete with it so all the things have been mentioned here and you need to start up the course so once you have read the all the instruction and you can go to view more also you can see all these things here and then you have to click here start then you can see you can see the learning pathway and up to how you can earn the nascom certificate all things has been elaborated here so next you need to go to the so click on next card next card so it is the redirected to your payment page now so you can see here the payment will be showing thousand rupees and there is a promo code offer is there for the students and the promo who and all having the promo code you can go ahead with the promo code or else if you are not having any promo code means if you are not applicable to that category means you have to go with the thousand rupees fees so how to apply for promo code that i will show you so now you need to enroll don't click next card now you have to click enroll So it might take some time, time, but it'll come. Once this page comes, you can see oh, right, product is there, details is there, place of order is there, over user. You need to be in product and you have to proceed with the order. So you will be having doubt that I am having promo code even though my price is showing thousand rupees. Don't don't get panic. Go to proceed with order proceed with the order and now you can see that my billing address is uh, billing address my name is there my email address is there and what you need to do means you have to give your pin code here so i have given the pin code okay so now you can see here after in, after including my pin code it is showing that like, uh, it is directly taking uh karnataka state and bangalore right? everything is there you used to have street name is them and i will put it easy sir number. So then I need to proceed. You see this page. Once it is everything is completed, you have to proceed. Proceed. Now you can see that discount code is there. The discount code is the promo code. So the promo code you need to enter here. The promo code usually the promo code is generated and sent to the candidates registered the candidates email id so the candidates email id where they have to check they have to check in the spam when they have when they are not received in the inbox they have to check in the spam and all and in the name of where you have to identify through identification future skills like the future skill prime future skill prime like that you need to check it up and you need to get the details of promo code most probably everyone will get the promo code if you don't get any promo code if you have any issues also you can connect to the iot upscaling team so i'm just giving one code i'm just giving one code and i'm trying to apply but actually i didn't receive any code because I am not, 
I'm not a student, so I'm not getting any code. If you have uh, received your code, means it will be that uh, applicable code means it. You can see that please enter valid. So whatever the code which I am trying to apply, it is not working because it's not the valid code. So the students can once they enter the discount code, they that uh, amount will be drastically reduced to hundred rupees. So the subtotal will be the GST will be 180 rupees. So the grand total will be 180 rupees. So the 1,180 rupees is for the candidates who is not having the promo code. The candidates who are having the promo code, they have to pay only 180 rupees. And then again, you go to checkbox. So I agree to the terms of service for the future skill prime. You just click on here and go to add payment now you can see future skill prime is there and the select the options to pay is there there are so many options are there to pay you can see here prepaid is there debit is there debit card credit card is there upa is there net banking is there i just open here you can see upa you can put a mobile number for payment so the payment option is enabled easy access and you can see here debit is their credit card is that also you through that you can pay a net bank option is also available for example i'm just keep clicking here sba and pay 1080. now you can see like i have to put uh, insert my user id and password and just log in and i can pay easily so that's all the registration is very easy actually if you have any queries you can directly connect to the upskilling team and we are ready for you assist your daily time thank you very much thank you